Since its early days, Fermilab has welcomed visitors on campus and shared its zeal for discovery with the surrounding communities. Visitors admire the lab's diverse species and vast plains, but one animal really makes them feel warm and fuzzy, the bison. The first animals were brought to the lab by the first director, Dr. Wilson, in 1969. They consisted of one bull and four cows. A short time later, the Illinois Department of Conservation donated 21 more animals. Dr. Wilson thought that the bison represented the great frontier. In the case of Fermilab, the great high energy physics frontier. The bison in the herd are American Plains bison. From 26 bison, more have come and gone over the years. Today, we have 28 bison total, most of which are descendants of the first bison at the lab. We have two bulls, 15 cows, and 11 calves. About 10 to 15 newborn calves are born each year. American bison have roamed North America for thousands of years with populations in the millions. As their numbers dwindled from overhunting, public and private herders did their best to save the remaining genetically pure bison. Last fall, the Fermilab bison were genetically tested, and we discovered that our herd is 100% pure and free of cattle genes. The herd is also genetically diverse, with ancestors from eight federal herds, including Yellowstone and Wind Cave National Park. A bison are healthy and strong. They can be up to six feet tall and weigh to a ton. The calves, when they're born, they're cinnamon brown, and they slowly change to a darker brown in about four months. Even though these fluffy creatures seem gentle, they are still wild animals that can charge at up to 30 miles per hour at a moment's notice. When visiting Fermilab's noble herd, remember to gaze at them from afar, behind the fence, and they'll know you're a friend they can trust. <laughs>